Uh, what we're going to do today is talk a little bit about the history of the West, how we got to where we are, and that'll give us some idea of what the foundations of market capitalism are about and foundations of what America is about. And uh, we're going to we're going to concentrate on the economic structure uh, and, uh, and that political structure that's consistent with the economic structure that we've been talking about so far. Um, one, of the, one of the reasons that the West grew wealthy and other parts of the world didn't, um, in fact if you look at uh, Zimbabwe right now, um, one, out of er one out of every eight children will die before the age of five. Right, and so, so we might want to look and say, okay, why is that happening over there and that's not happening here? Uh, and so historically, we moved to a spot uh, which is a uh, market capitalism and a system based on individual liberty and a, and a limited government. And historically, what happened was we extended that what Hayek calls that sphere of freedom, that ability to act according to your own plan, which we said was crucial to making markets work. And that is, if you look at a history of the West, you see this gradual expansion of the individual's ability to act according to their own plan. I mean, if we just compared your life today with what it would be like if this were 900 AD, uh, you'd see that you have a lot more freedom to do things than you did when you were a serf in 900 AD. Uh, Innovation is what makes us wealthy. Uh, I like to tell my students, we're not wealthier today because we have more wheat than they did in the 13th century, or we have more tapestries, but we have lots of stuff they didn't have. In fact, about half of the things that you're going to use in the next week or so didn't exist in 1950. We already mentioned that earlier, right? So think of how many things exist today that if it, this were 1250, would you really ha would you have that today? And probably almost none of it would exist in 1250. You wouldn't have a ref refrigerator. You wouldn't have strawberries in you know January. You wouldn't have all the things that we had. And so what we what really happened in the West is we created the system of innovation, and that's what makes us wealthy. We didn't get wealthy just because we accumulated more stuff. We got wealthy because we created new stuff. And how did that happen? That happened because we instituted the idea of property rights. Property rights are crucial to a system of market capitalism. And yesterday we said, or Tuesday, Tuesday we said that it is property rights and the protection of property rights that are why we have government in the first place. Government is there and its purpose is to protect life, liberty, and property. That's what the role of government is. And that has, has developed in the West as opposed to other places where the role of the tribal chief is to tell you what to do. We have a centrally planned system and there are no property rights. We farm things in, co in the commons and we hunt things in the commons. And that is not a very productive way to run things. So,